no fewer than seven internally displaced persons idps were killed after suspected hand headsmen militia attacked the abagena idps camp on the outskirts of makodi the benue state capital it was gathered that the unprovoked attack which took place around 2 a.m on tuesday left many idps with serious injuries among the first caller of the camp for on the spot assessment was Governor Samuel Otto, who could not hold back tears as he addressed angrily Penway's youth. The youth had taken to the Makodi Lafia Road to protest on Tuesday morning, blocking the road with the remaining of the deceased. The governor described the attack as inhuman and barbaric while calling on President Mohamed Buhari to do more to protect Nigerians. According to the governor, over 70 persons have been killed in Makodi alone in the last two weeks. If the federal government had taken the issue of military's head as seriously, he wouldn't have escalated to this level, he said. Could this be as a result of negligence of the federal government who has not taken this issue seriously the government needs to take any issue concerning insecurity seriously in the state because it will continue to escalate day by day it was gathered that the unprovoked attack which took place around 2 a.m on tuesday left many idps with serious injury that was really bad just as the governor said it was barbaric well let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about what the incident was chukuma okoro said Mr. Governor, this is not the time to share tests. It is time to stand out and understand that you are not same people with Fulanis. Stop being deceived. It is only when they want you they want to use you for election that they will pretend to be one with you. Now it is very clear to you that these people want to annihilate you and take over your ancestral lands it is never it is now or never fight and liberate your people or remain slaves forever that was a wonderful comment from chukuma okoro who was you know told the governor of the state it is not time for him to start sharing tears it is time for him to stand out and understand that it is not the same as the Fulanis. It is only when they want to use him for election, that's when they pretend to be the one with him. Now it is clear that these people only want to annihilate him and you know take over his ancestral land. It is now or never. You fight to liberate your people or you remain slaves forever. That is what Okoro has said. Do you go with what we have just heard? What Chukuma Okoro said? What is your stand on this? We would like to see your own reaction and comment on this. Let's move further and see what other people have to say about this. Uju Oji Ajoyi said, Governor, stop crying and defend your people. Set up your own vigilante group. You are there crying. You can see that we don't have president again. See what Uju has said that the governor should stop crying and defend his people. Honestly, what is going on in Nigeria does not need crying. Though, listening to what is happening day by day, you can weep, but weeping is not the real way to go about it. You need to think and you know find a way of defending your people. Just as Uju has said, set your own vigilante group instead of crying. You will see, because it will take a good look at it. You see that we don't have a president again. That is what Uju has said. Well, that's a whole point of view. Let's move forward and see what we have further in our comments 
and people's reaction about this. Omali Gideon said, does crime solve any problem? There was a warning of an imminent attack on the IDP group camp rather two days prior to the attack. Yet you people sit and do nothing about it. You come on social media to cry for sympathy when you are serious, you know what to do. And say what Gideon has said that warning was sent to them two days before the attack and these people sat and did nothing about this. Now he is coming on social media to cry for sim sympathy. Just as Gideon has said that when you are serious, you know what to do. And earlier we have been told that instead of crying, you should just stand up, you know, create your own vigilante group and defend your people. That would be a better way instead of sitting and just, you know, weeping. You know, but this useless Nigerian army will never come and, you know, fight against these terrorists called uh, Fulani headsmen. What type of country is this? We have over 1 million people who have displaced in Benue state since 2015 because of Fulani headsmen and this Nigerian government and their illiterate soldiers will never confront the Fulani headsmen. Any Sultana that is still having faith in this, uh, will I say, useless government full of impunity is a total disgrace. What do you think can be done to this kind of situation? What is your own opinion about what has been heard? We would like to know your own point of view and reaction to these things that have been said. You hear IPOB and ESN are responsible for the attack today. Tomorrow you hear that X men are the one responsible for the attack. We need to stop all this nonsense. It is time to tell ourselves the truth. Because without the truth, we don't know the right way to go. It is time for us to, you know, stop crying and do something about it. Sharing tears is not the answer. You people should, you know, tell the president to go because he is not capable. When you keep on sharing tears, time is going. And time wait for nobody. We need to, you know, make use of our time judiciously and find a way to curb all these issues of insecurity in Nigeria. We would like to see your own comment and reaction on what has been said. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I'll see you on the other news. Bye for now.